This is a demonstration of the hair traction splint. The indications for the use of a hair traction splint are a mid-shaft isolated femur fracture of a stable patient. We have swelling and deformity and pain to the mid-shaft, a lateral rotation of the leg, and, one, and that leg is shorter than the other. Contraindications for the use of a hair traction splint are uh, any injury to the hip, knee, or lower leg, or the patient is unstable. BSI scene safety. I'm going to take manual stabilization of the fracture site, above and below at the knee and the hip. I'm going to ask my partner to come in and take pulse motor and sensory of the feet and to apply the ankle hitch. Taking pulse. Pulse is present. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Which toe am I touching? Big toe. I'm going to pass it underneath the void of the ankle. And now I'm going to apply manual traction. I'm going to count to three, okay? And I'm going to lift one, two, three. At this point, we're now going to measure the traction splint against the length of the good leg. Now we're going to measure. We want to open up the traction splint, righty tidy, lefty loosey. So we're going to turn. Extend. We take the butt end of the traction splint and find the ischial tuberosity. And then we go to the ankle and the foot and we go 8 to 12 inches past. And then we're going to tighten it up again. At this point, we can also landmark some of our uh, straps here. So this one goes to the feet. I'm just going to move this one down to the end here prior to putting it on. And now we're going to move back over to the injured leg. Now we're going to apply traction. We start by going under my partner's legs, moving down, and then moving in an upward motion. We're coming up under the ischial tuberosity, trying not to move the leg excessively, increasing, decreasing pain. I'm going to take the strap and apply it to the upper thigh into the bikini line. And this will allow me to apply traction. I'm now going to apply mechanical traction. Let's put up the kickstand and release the strap. Attach it to the ankle hitch. and applying mechanical traction, speaking to the patient. Tell me when you feel relief. Relief? Okay. Excellent. Once I've applied traction, I'm going to apply the straps. Starting with the top strap. We're two straps at the knees, two fingers above the knee. And two fingers below the knee. And then at the ankle. At this point, we've completed the task and we're going to repeat pulse motor and sensory. So feeling for a pulse. Wiggle your toes for me. And which toe am I touching? Little toe. Once pulse motor and sensory has been completed, we're going to log roll the patient on the uninjured side onto a long board to be moved to the stretcher. We're going to secure the traction splint and the leg and immobilize the hip with the straps. At that point, my partner can uh, release the leg and we're ready to move the patient.